Should I file a word mark or a figurative or device mark? I am Rolf Klesen, a patent attorney and partner at Freisham and Partner and every Thursday I am publishing a new video about patents, trademarks or designs. And in this video I explain whether you should file a word mark or a figurative or device trademark when filing a trademark. Clients often ask me whether they should file a word mark for the abstract word or a figurative trademark or device trademark. Often the clients have paid a designer a lot of money to create a really nice logo and a nice figurative trademark. Let's say you have designed a really nice logo for your new dance studio called Marimba or your new garlic press. But my clear recommendation is a word mark. Why? The word mark protects the word marimba, let's say, abstractly and independent from the graphic representation. So if a competitor is using the word marimba for a dance studio and they are using, let's say, a blue square around the word and your logo has an elephant behind the word, then they would still fall under your word mark identically if if you have a word mark, if you have a figurative trademark or device trademark with, let's say, the depiction of the elephant behind the word, the use of the trademark of your competitor is not identical. However, there is a second good reason for a word mark. If you do not use your trademark as registered, then competitors can start cancellation proceedings against your trademark and your trademark is cancelled for non-use. So let's say in three years you plan a new design, a new corporate identity and you redesign your logo, then you would have to reapply for a new trademark if you have a figurative trademark or device mark. If you have a word mark, let's say the word stays the same with the new design, then you don't have to refile a trademark. If you register a word mark, the logo can be redesigned as often as you want. And of course, there is one exception to the rule that I just gave you that word marks are favorable compared to um, figurative trademarks or device marks. Um, if your word is merely descriptive for the goods and services that you want to protect, let's say you have um, a mark, a logo car and you want to sell cars under this trademark, then you can't get this trademark registered because it's descriptive. Then you can use a figurative trademark, a device mark and if the figurative elements add enough distinctiveness to the overall impression of the trademark, then this trademark can be registered as a registered trademark. But my general recommendation in this case would be please choose a more distinctive name for your product or your company or your services. As a rule of thumb, use a fanciful and not descriptive uh, word for your word mark to obtain a broad protection for your trademark. So what is the best way to register word marks? What capitalization is the best? I always apply as a rule of thumb. I am applying for word marks in all caps, um, except in cases where the word mark lives from a capitalization inside the trademark. Let's say everything is small uh, letters and one, one character in the middle is cap uh, as a capitalized character, then use this exact capitalization. Why all caps? Well, in most countries in the world and especially in the US, there is case law that if you file a word mark in all capital letters, then all the standard capitalizations, let's say first character capitalized and the rest of the characters small um, letters or all caps or all small letters, then all these standard capitalizations are covered by a trademark that is registered in all caps. 
So how do you register a figurative trademark or device mark for the broadest protection if you really need to file a figurative trademark or device mark for some reason? Then the best way to do this is filing it in black and white if possible, because then according to the case law in most countries, all colors are basically included in the protection of such a trademark. So if you file um, your logo in black and white, then an infringer who uses this logo in blue, let's say, infringes your trademark um, identically. I hope I was able to explain whether you should file a word mark or a figurative trademark. If you are new to my channel and want to learn more about patents, trademarks and designs, please subscribe to my channel. If you liked the video, then give me a thumbs up. And I'm answering questions and comments below this video. And most importantly, protect your intellectual property and go make it count.